you? Have you been fishing today? No. You've got steak, haven't you? <laughs> I've been working, I've been grafting. It's grafted. a jacket, isn't it? I've been grafting in crap. Look at these, Dave. Liquid gold. Oh, what did you get me from, Sean? Well, did I get you from, Sean? Well, you know. Uh, they weren't very, they weren't very expensive, they were £6.50. Oh no, 65 pence. Why is there a shortage on them tonight? Well, our last is, I don't bloody know, I don't go shopping, do I? You were freezing a minute ago. Oh, I've got my coat on. <coughs> I'm surprised you're not bloody uh, cold with that on. Oh, my face. It's red. I've been out in it all day and every day this week. So I'll get it bam. So it's nice and warm. Oh. Absolutely boiling. Oh, where's my phone gone? Oh, Go on then, Alan. Start. Buongiorno, fisher people. Bit of Italian again for you. Um. My name is Alan Rose from Fish on TV. This is my good friend. Aren't you, Dave? Very good friend. David Wood. Our kid. From Bag Up TV. From Bag Up TV. I forgot that. I was just thinking about family things and stuff that you don't like to talk about. <laughs> Alan. <laughs> <laughs> We're not related. You, you can go on and go on about this and people can comment oh, and well, say... Hold on, Dave. Hold oh, on. have you got oh, one I'm already? Yeah. Best bite I've had all year. Aye, <laughs> because you haven't had that many. Oh, God. The low blow. Hey. The low blow. No, no, he's, had a good, he's had a good match, hasn't he? Oh, hey. here we go. Straight here into my ribs. This is supposed to be nice this year. I have anyway. been nice. So, last, last van chat was a special Christmas one with... Uh, Andy Kinder, didn't it? Remember? Yeah. And what guests have we got today, Alan? Hell, oh no, no, we've got. No we've one. got a special guest today, anyway, David, haven't we? Have we? You. Oh. Right. Yeah. She. Well, I'm, I'm always here. You've done well, though, aren't you? Well, anyway, we'll talk about that later. But first is first. We've got to um, read some of the comments out from the last video, haven't we, Alan? That's yeah. what we always do. Yeah. Yeah. I was having a look, I didn't realise it's it's two months, isn't it? Well yeah, it's a long time. I I have we've been on matches in that, haven't we? And then every time we've talked to each other we're just like God. Yeah. We do need to do one, but Yeah. Um we just don't have time, have we? We've been really busy. And we we're gonna get another guest in, weren't we? But we just didn't have time, so we're here sat here again. We are by ourselves, but it's um, in the day it's it's a commitment day, isn't it? And we've we've got to give somebody plenty of notice and I think we will sort another we've one. We've talked about one or two guests and I'd like to get a bit more background rather than just plonk them at middle of the van. You squashing them and not really having a lot to talk about. <laughs> So, you've got to get organised for it, Dave, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, so, we, we, we will do. We haven't been organised, but we've organised enough to get a van chat on. Yeah, we, and what, so. we, what we will say, Andy Kinder, thank you very much, pal. It was a great little van yes, chat, that one. Yes, thank you, and, and, uh, He did it in uh, short notice. Yeah. He's come straight, didn't he? In the... Uh, top notch. Always It was just before notch. Christmas, weren't it? Yeah, just, just before. Yeah. So. Absolutely brilliant. So, we did the last van chat, and we'll read some of the comments out uh, from the last one with Andy Kinder. Uh, so I'll go from the top. Have you even loaded yours up? Yes, David. Mm -hmm. See? I'll go from the top. That's it again. Uh, Dave Wed or Dave, Dave Webb. What? Webb. Uh, Wed. Awesome van chat. I watched the UK champs after Andy had lost Sarah and he was visibly upset. And to carry on in the way he has just shows what a great character and great person Andy is. Fantastic angler, fantastic organiser, and even a better person. Merry Christmas to all, it says. So, yeah. Thanks for that, Dave. Much appreciated. I'm sure Andy will be as well. <laughs> Jason Rowell's Eddie Angling Club. More. <laughs> <laughs> That's all he's put. More. Oh, all right. Fantastic. <coughs> awesome stuff. Um, John Robert... Bainbridge, Andy a top bloke when discussing the loss of his last he held it together better than I would 
Great interview in the van. Merry Christmas, lads. Thanks, yeah, John. Yeah, cheers, John. I'll just go through a couple here. Mick Stainforth, brilliant, boys. Ted Stewart, great video. Tatsujin, excellent as always, but cheese with mince pies. Awesome. Yeah, we're on about that, aren't we? I love cheese with mince pies. We're talking about... We, see, we had not done one for ages. <laughs> we're talking about Christmas, Christmas isn't it? Making me hungry. Um... James Stringden, Alan, Dave, well done, lads, for putting this together. And I've got to say, Andy will come across really nice. Human being. Human being, love it. Yeah. I like this one, me. <laughs> Chris Pritchard. Top man. Bit of, a, bit of a hard watch, because every time Nosh opened his mouth, the rather large bloke's eyes rolled. And then the condescending oh, comments. The rather large <laughs> it was probably man. banter, but to me it seemed a bit ignorant. At least he contributed rather than just snipping and talking about how good he is. So, <laughs> <laughs> <it's at> all. <laughs> <laughs> What's his name? Uh, Jeff Wiseman. Jeff, no, Jeff no, Wiseman. No, 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 it ain't Jeff Wiseman. I'm only kidding. It's um, <laughs> he's a friend of ours. Is Jeff? <laughs> it's Chris Pritchard. Chris Pritchard, the large, large fella next to him, says, "Piss off." <laughs> there you go. He's my mate. Well, sort of my mate. We have a laugh together. And we're I all, don't, we're we all, don't take. I don't take piss out of you that much, do I? But yeah, you do. Yeah, but I give you it back, don't yeah, I? Yeah, of course you do. Yeah, it's all banter. That's all. We're it all is. having a laugh on film. I'm not. Don't, uh, don't ever worry about whatever he's rolling his yeah. eyes, thinking or saying to me, because it's. From, I'm from New York. It's like watch of a duck's back. Yeah, we're not bothered. Are we? <laughs> we're not bothered, are we? So and don't it, it's worry. It's all a laugh, all a bit of banter. But, but... thanks for the support, yeah. anyway. Yeah. <laughs> if, if Alan needs any support, I'm sure I'll give you a ring. Yeah. But, uh, yeah like thanks it, for your mate. comment, anyway. Yeah, well done, Chris. <laughs> Here we go. Danny Fenson, great chat with Andy Kinder. Still the happiest man in fishing despite the loss this year. It will take some time, but we'll get better. And all the best, lads. And there were a few questions asked. I'm not because there's a few on here, but so uh, John Kelly's one of them. What was the fishing memories that you did with Andy Kinder? He's left a link below this video. So, oh yes, I put a link it, on there. It's, it's a cracker, and I'll tell you what, I loved it, mate. It uh, yeah. it gets you a bit that one, doesn't it? Because he, he speaks from the bottom of his heart. He's yeah. a proper loyal kid. He's on the inter. Yeah. Yeah. You know, loyalty, it counts for a lot for me, does that? Um, mm. Well, that... I did it a few years ago, didn't I? That yeah. Angling Memories yeah. with Andy Kinder. And I, and I went round and did a few. I did with Nick Speed, <coughs> I did Lee Kerry. Um, uh, who else I done? I uh, Tommy Pickering. Oh, yeah, Tommy Pickering. And Emma Pickering. Yeah, did them too. Yeah, you did a few, didn't you? Yeah. I went round, asked him questions. It's just like a bit of life in angling thing, yeah. isn't it? But... Andy Kinders were a really good one. Oh, really right, lump in my throat because you yeah. could, it meant every word of that, didn't yeah. it? Yeah. Fantastic. So, but yeah, that you can if you want to watch that, you can watch, you go through the playlist or just put Angling Memories and Andy Kinder in if you've yeah. not seen it because I suppose a lot of you might not have seen it if you're new to the channel. Yeah. Um, but yeah, if you haven't seen it, go and have a look. It's good, good watch. Yeah, I enjoy that. Before I got to know, I think I sent you a message and you ignored it. Yeah, he sent me a message. I said, like, who's this bloody fool here? <laughs> and it said, Alan Noyce, you got a stupid profile picture of Elvis. <laughs> like this. And I thought, God, who's this twit? <laughs> so I opened it up and said, Hi, Dave, you don't know me. It's Alan Edward Norris here. Uh, I'm the mightiest, by the way, and I'm a great, great club angler. A, I win every club match. What a I just absolute. wanted to say... That I love you and love Andy Kinder and want to be friends. You can tell that's a lie, folks, because my name's actually Edward Allen, and he nicknamed, nicknamed me the Mightiest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Didn't you? <Yeah. laughs> right, that's it. I want shares in this. Then. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, sorry, it's changed that, hasn't it, from the Mighty to Dickhead. Oh, you remember yeah, from yeah, last yeah, that was funny. That yeah, that yeah. tickled me. That one. <laughs> couple more, couple more then. Uh, here, John Arthur Angling. Well done, guys. Great to have Andy on. Keep on bagging, you mighty anglers. John Arthur's on it. Yeah, well Loves done. Loves it, John, doesn't he? John boy. Um, let's have a look. Dean Bayliss Fishing TV. I've not seen that one, have you? I've not heard of that. I'll have to have a look at that, Dean. Awesome. Had a nice match next to Andy at the Glebe this year in the summer. 
in the summer league fair to say my good start was fouled dawn as he battered me defo one of my angling heroes basically got his ass kicked got smashed oh, up so well done kinder <laughs> uh, Mark Sawyer he comments on a lot of his videos top class banter as always yes banter Mark um, and great guest in Andy Kinder a good insight to his fishing career thanks for the videos over the year always look forward to him all that's left to do is wish you a Merry Christmas and a great New Year thanks for that Mark even though it is two months too late <laughs> there's a bloke here got a great name <laughs> can't be his surname but I think it'd suit you Dave Johnny Fat Trap <laughs> I, could, I could listen to Andy all night Top bloke and a credit to angling Yes he is Good name <laughs> I like that uh, Right one more I'm going to pick on. one more Go on then um, uh, This will do James Bradley Course Fishing What a great van chart One of the gents of fishing First class, Andy Kinder, love the chat, well done, Alan and Dave, best wishes for 2023. That's the lot. That's you, is it? Can I yeah. do one more? Cause Go on. I'm going to have to do a review on this. I don't know why it's on this one, but... Hey up, Dave, top class van chat with Andy and the mighty. Just a quick question, What's what landing net handle do you use for carp? Course, course fishing, as in looking to buy my other half a new one. Cheers and Merry Christmas, and that's from Lisa Collier. So mine, I get asked about. You'll get the same question as yeah. well. My landing net pole is a Browning Hyper XTR four meter. Fantastic landing net, brilliant. So there you go. Yours, <laughs> mine. I, what was the what was the one before? I know you use MIDI I, now, don't I, you? I use a MIDI one now. Uh, which is a great landing net uh, handle, but it is a little bit uh, bender. And I think what it is is a little bit too thin. Yeah. But I do really like it, it's strong as old. Um, and even when you're netting carp and stuff like that, I think it's a midi 4000 tech or something like yeah. that. And it's a really good one. And it's definitely net. strong enough because it's. Uh, I've lent it you, haven't I? Yeah, well, channel. I got that 12 pounder in, didn't I? Oh, God. Remember we'll that, talk about remember that, that 12 pounder, Dave? Yeah. At Barston. Um, so I do use MIDI stuff and obviously I'm sponsored by MIDI but the other one that I use as well is a what is it Alan? Garbolino. It's a Garbolino H1 G Max. Now they don't do them anymore. Oh yeah, I remember. You. And if you if you try and buy one, it's a it's a 5 meter one as well. So there's an extra bit for it which if you put that one on it does make it bender. But you take that bit off and, and you just solid. use the three section then and yeah. it's absolutely solid. Yeah. Um, so if you do use it the other way around and put the first section and then two more on, it is quite bendy and it's, pre it's pretty much the same one as I've got. Yeah. But if you take the front section off and use the back three sections, it's, it's stiff as old yeah. and strong. And everyone keeps asking me because they don't make them anymore and, yeah. and people are like, oh God, I need to, but yours is really nice, isn't it? Oh, yours, yeah, what yeah, you've yeah. got. Yeah, John Wincup uh, put me onto that one. Um, they'd just come out when I saw him a couple of years ago, actually. And it's been the best thing ever. Slightly expensive, what are they, about 150, 160 quid, but I'll tell you what, worth every penny mm -hmm. now. Well, I think the MIDI one's about 60, 60 quid, so, for 60 quid you can't go wrong no. and the other one the garbolino one i got for 75 quid at lindome lakes they were oh. yeah, aaron were doing a special offer oh. and he were like oh i want to get rid of all these because i think they were moving from garbolino to drennan yeah and, uh, and he got loads in and i bought one and it was the best thing i ever bought yeah. so yeah. but you can't get them anymore so people ask me all the time yeah, what is it what is it and i'm like you can't it. buy them anymore so well, two at lads in club two or three at lads in our club have actually bought the same landing it handle they've all come along and tested it oh is you yeah the, the browning one so i can't recommend it enough so there you go right then dave so i hope you've got something written down because i've literally not had a minute this week i've got nothing written down but oh, yeah. i don't know if it's gonna be a bit uh... no, i told you about some tomatoes sorry i tell you about some tomatoes yeah Right, you show me already you bought tomatoes, but no mm. bloody 
out for you know a bit of snack in the van or snack in the van. What you got? Look at his little blooming work bag. It is. Is that a monkey? Oh, God, it's awesome. <laughs> you can have it later when we finish, because otherwise he'll eat it. I'm having my tea when I get in. Oh, yeah. Ki Kiev tonight. Chicken right, Kiev. so uh, what are we are going to start with now? Because I know you're oh. chomping at bit, aren't you? No, I'm not. You are, man. you are. I, I think we should start on the feeder masters where we've where we've pretty much been all winter. Yeah. So I have written a few things down. So oh, yeah, we, yeah we've, I thought we'd talk about a feeder masters, then we can talk about uh, our Boston trip, yeah, and then we can talk good. about maybe Golden Rod, oh, so, uh, and then possibly uh, head home in the sunset with the money. With the can trip. I talk about my Golden Rod at Boddington? I've got water leaks. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Again, what happened then? It's just no fish feeding, mother. <laughs> <laughs> you had a great day then. There were four people caught out of 60. I saw, in fact, I was flicking through uh, YouTube because I were uploading all my videos and this and that, and I thought, and there were this lad, there were this lad on there, we'll talk about him. Uh, is it? Is he named Alan? Yeah, Alan Andrews. Nice Alan fella. Alan Andrews. Very yeah, nice fella, yeah. And um, I thought, oh, I've seen him before in the swim. In or the swim, yeah. yeah. So yeah. if you've not seen him in the swim, and he's, he's, he's a nice guy, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I don't, I don't, I think I've met him once actually at, um, at Allcroft, but I didn't really say. Oh much. yeah, they did it. He went that. that yeah, way he come up, up yeah. to us and, and I think he said because we were next to Mick Vile. He said, "Mick Vile's idea fish this," and I thought, "I won't ask him." <laughs> anyway, <laughs> but, um, <laughs> me. <laughs> but I saw, I was watching YouTube anyway, and I thought, "Oh, I'll just watch this," and it were a decent video. I thought, "Oh, this is all right. Nice, nice bit of a video here." And then I'm thinking, oh, he's got these donuts, and I'm thinking, bloody hell, he's going to eat these donuts, catching a fish or something like that. And guess who popped up? Captain Mighty. Oh, there's Alan Norris down here, we'll go and have a chat with you. I thought, oh, for God's sake, no, I can't get rid of the bloody fella. Well, he's, I'm his dad's favourite YouTuber, he says. Yeah, that's what he said. Yeah. Yeah, he loves it. So yeah, uh, oh, that's I've forgotten, forgotten his name, but uh, nice one, Mr Andrews. Yeah, yeah. Well done. Alan's dad. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was a shocker. And um, you didn't have out, did you? You didn't have a bite for five hours. Yeah, no, but it was. It's 20 hours I've been down there, never had a bite. <laughs> um, the, the, the weight that one hour zone was one pound four ounce, one roach. <laughs> and he caught it on a 10 mil wafter. Did it? I know, I, I was kicking me, I told you, I was kicking myself not fishing for roach because it did cross my mind. And apparently some others did try and fish for roach and never had one. So I know when I got there, you could see your keep net right at the bottom of it. It was, it was gin clear. Mm. I've never seen it that clear. So whether that affected it, I don't know. But uh, it fished really, really hard. Yeah, yeah. Nobody, Absolutely. nobody caught. Oh, I think, I think there were two fish <laughs> for thirteen pound a piece caught, and then there was them roach and, and another carp caught on other other zones somewhere. So, Nathan Gooderham, I think he's. Is that who it was? Yeah, he caught a carp, didn't he? Yeah. He's qualified and also well done there. Uh, I don't know who else, I think there were about four qualifiers, weren't there? Matt Marshall and someone else and... Uh, yeah, because there, 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 there were two people had the same weight in one zone, two people had the same weight in another zone, one pound, four ounce, and 13 pounds in that zone. So there were five went through that day. Crackers, and we've been there all year trying to qualify, yeah, haven't we? and then five go through. The five run go through in one month. What can you do, Phil, though, if you've got exactly the same weight? You no. can't just toss a coin, can you? Well, I would. I would. <laughs> <laughs> but um, anyway, back to the feeder yeah, masters. Yeah, well, let's go to feeder masters. We've enough of your crappy match reading. It was crap. Out. It was crap. Um, so we ended this year at the feeder masters winter pairs, as you've probably seen the video, and um, we've ended up in 29th place, Alan, out of 30. Well, we've we had a bit of a dreadful. Yeah, but look on bright side, it wasn't last. Well, no, but. <laughs> for the last for the last few couple of matches I've been a bit I got a bit you know what I mean? Yeah bogged you know, down yeah. with it and thought, Oh I'm trying this, I'm doing this, I'm yeah. trying that, I've had enough for it and and I wouldn't say my head went, but I just thought, Do you know what, I'm gonna try it in this match and I don't think we've had that bad bad of draws, to be honest. I don't think we've had the worst set of draws. No. I right enjoyed it, mate. 
Well, I, I enjoyed it, but I enjoy it when I win some as well. Or I did. Well, yeah, you won. As well. <laughs> <laughs> That's one section out, out of only six matches, Alan, isn't it? I know, I know. I know you enjoyed it, and you. The last match you did all right, didn't you? Ten pound and, £10, and stuff. Twelve. Like. But I, I just got a bit of bogged down in the last couple of matches, and I thought I'm trying this, I'm trying that. I tried something different. I tried pellet for three hours, and it just didn't happen for me. Yeah. And like we 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 have talked about it, haven't we? And we we don't think we're doing that much wrong if we fish bloodworm joker and we've got the line sort of right that we want to fish tell you I, t I tell you what the main thing is i know they say it's got to be this ground mate and it's got to be that ground bait maybe it has maybe it hasn't i don't care what ground bait it is really as long as you go down the dark line a bit of sweet not too much fish meal yeah take a load of particles out the main thing for me that i've learned over the last two seasons there you'll get your feeding wrong yeah and you don't get out yeah it's as simple as that for me. And I think working out the feeding, which is the main thing I've I've learnt there, is key. That feeding is key. I don't think there's a special bait. I no. Th I, think it, I think it's feeding. I, I mean, think everyone's doing all the same, aren't Yeah, Barry Armson, he swears blind with white maggot and he ended up catching some great big bream close in. Would he have got them on a red maggot or, or three or four bloodworm? You don't know, do you? But no. his confidence is in that. And, it, and he's caught really well short. And I did as well. I got a few short, yeah. but they weren't the stamp that he was getting. They were two pounders that he was pulling out. He seemed to be in every every, every chuck and he just seemed to get one. It was brilliant. But we all know that in winter, the fish ball up and they're in certain areas, aren't yeah. they? So yeah. So he, he, he could be the next peg on a peg what amp produced for weeks and weeks and weeks. And then suddenly you stack up with him, don't you? Yeah. Um, so I, I found it a bit hard work at, at the start, and then I got a bit... A little bit fed up, if yeah. right, to be honest with you. It, it will frustrate you a bit, won't it? Yeah. But I th I think, get that feeding right, and I think if you persist and, and have confidence in in what we what we think is right for next time round, you've just got to have confidence in it and definitely get that feeding right. Yeah. That's It's massive, that. Yeah. And I went down practising quite a few times, didn't I, to sort of suss out what's what i thought were right what were wrong and i don't think i i, I felt like i was slowly getting there mate but it is sometimes it can be a bit of patience that day that last day for example they say in and out every two or three minutes my bites were coming every sort of five or six minutes yeah, so to, i, I to had to patient. be patient so there's that as well um being knowing when to be patient and use a bigger bait and go for a bigger stamp mm, yeah you know there's a lot of scenarios isn't there if they're just roach there, then you're in and out all the time because roach tend to hang. You need to try and bring them down, don't you? Yeah. So it's sussing out your peg and then having the confidence in what you think is right. And we only think we know what's going off there. Yeah. So I'm sure we could have caught a lot more fish and yeah. done a few things different. But uh, we'll be at it again next year and hopefully we can yeah. start moving up a bit because um you're coming for a practice for me next year aren't you yeah well i'll, I'll have to try but um <laughs> i'll have to try <laughs> oh, I will. It, it's hard work in winter isn't it yeah because you know, you've got i've got other stuff and golden rod and what have you we've yeah. been on that all year haven't we yeah. so and that but you you'll get a friday off don't you which it went yeah. too bad yeah um to go up and have a have a practice and stuff like that but I'm sure we'll get a Zed Singer and have a go on that, but yeah. it, we're a little bit disappointing, but we're back next year, aren't we? Yeah, um, good, because I love it, me. So, what else were we going to talk about? <sighs> so, we went, we'd been on, also through the winter, we'd been on these golden rods, mm -hmm. and we'd been doing, I mean, I got about... You've had some close calls, Six or you? seven tickets, and I've had some really close calls at Decoy Lakes, at Lindon Lakes... Did I have another one where I'd just missed out? Well, Oldcroft as Old well. Oldcroft, yeah. yeah. You weren't far away Next to uh, uh, Darren, Darren Cox. Cox. Yeah, so well, you I did, missed out. Yeah, you did really well there, didn't you? Yeah. So I've had a few close calls, but I've enjoyed the sort of journey. I can say it now because, well, well I'll just talk about this first, then we'll talk about that. But we went to Barston Lakes together. That were ace, that. And, Wasn't it? Yeah, it were all right. 
That would sound too enthusiastic, Dave. And I I thought I'd drawn, I'd drawn better than him. Yeah, they had, he drew a flyer. I drew 15, which is a little bit further down down the lake, uh, out of the ball. If, you, if you're if you near the ball area, I don't think it's that great. But if you're just out of it, yeah. they're much better pegs. And I drew 15. And I were really confident that day, and I thought that I was going to catch um, about 50, 60 metres and just stay there all day. But anyway, I, I draws peg 15, and anyway, there's there's peg 1, 2, 3, and 1, 2, 2. <laughs> 1, there's 2, good 1. pegs and muppet here. Uh, <laughs> what else are in? I think there were a couple of 70s in, aren't they, at top and all, you know, why they were being catching or something. Yeah. So there were loads of decent pegs in, and peg with 13? 13. Anyway, Alan draws 13. So he's next, to, well, he were like, <laughs> were you two pegs or one peg? Two pegs. Two pegs away, Dave. Mm. I know where you were chucking, you might have thought it were only one. So he turns up, <laughs> doesn't he, and I thought, oh, it doesn't matter this. I'm, and there were Alex Bones next door, he were no good, and I thought, I'm going to smash all these up here. <laughs> I've only got to worry about, um, what do you call it, on that corner, who were on corner? Uh, he qualified, didn't Oh, he? Phil Ringer. Phil Ringer, I thought, yeah. I've only got to worry He'd about him. he got a load him. of spare pegs, hasn't he? Yeah, I've only got to worry about him, because he had four spare pegs, didn't he, on yeah. that corner, and I thought, well, if we've got to worry about someone, it'll be him on that corner. So anyway, I'm fishing, I'm fishing, and I'm thinking, oh, and he, you have about four skimmers before anyone catches out, don't you? Yeah. And I thought, right, so I'm going to chuck out long. Anyway, I went whack, chucked out long, and I got an F1. Did I get an F1? No, it was a skimmer. It, it, Sorry. it, it, it was a decent skimmer. It was a decent skimmer, and I thought, yeah. right, they're here, I've got them. Anyway, I chucks out again, and I don't know what happened, but there were some trees above, and I went whack like that, because I you took my clip off, because he were catching long at like 75. I took my clip took my clip off and went whack, and it must have got caught up in some trees, and it snapped yeah. the bloody rod. You see what I did, folks? Because he's going, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> I actually got off my box and waited. Yeah, he... Oh, Because I, 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 I just thought, they're low, and they are low, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Then he just cut him back a bit. Um, mm. So I were getting off my box every time, making sure I went through Gap. Well, I didn't. And he didn't, he I, just switched. I right. stood up and just whacked it, didn't I? I thought I were all right, but it's deceiving, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, like they hang the, down. They're yeah. like that. So anyway, mine got caught on the bloody thing, yet, and it just didn't snap the line. It snapped my bloody rod. Um, and I don't know what happened. And then after that, I couldn't chuck. Well, I'd got an 11 foot rod. Um, what are they good for? About 45 meters? 45, 50 meters I were chucking. Yeah. And all the fish seemed to be at 75, didn't they? Yeah. On that miles for a bit further out. Yeah. And Alex started chucking out long. He says, oh, I'm chucking out at 80. I says, nowhere near, because you were miles past him and you were chucking 75, weren't you? 74, I were at me. And you were miles past him. You were only chucking 60, <laughs> 70, 60 70 metres, if that. That tree was just in my way, so I couldn't see yeah. where you were chucking. But you you absolutely hammered me, didn't you? And then to top it all off, <laughs> I'm sat there, and I and I just got an F1 on that short line. I thought, yeah. oh, this is all right. Yeah. Um, I, <laughs> I only need, like, two or three more of them, and I might nick a section or something. So anyway, I'm sat there and I thought, well, if it if I just go in on that line all day, you know, after that, because there were two hours left, weren't there? A good, yeah, good yeah, two yeah. hours, three hours yeah. left. And uh, anyway, I'm fishing away and I got a skimmer and I thought, oh, this is all right. And he's looking up like this, and, but he were in front. <laughs> anyway, he comes to it and my rod goes, woof, woof, woof. And I thought, oh, God, another cat, another cat, proper cat bite, this one. So I pick it up and it's like, do 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 and I thought, what's... And then my line started going up there, and I thought, I thought, what the hell's going on? So I'm, like, looking up, and he's there like this, playing a fish at bottom. And I thought... I says, Alan, this is in front of me. You've got one. Oh, sorry. I didn't know it was that far. Like, blooming thicker, innit? Uh, didn't it know did it go to that. It did go to the right, but I, it, looking at the line, it didn't look like it was that far until it come a bit closer and I thought god that has uh, that must have gone round yeah. like well that. if you chuck it 75 meters yeah. and it just goes a bit it's it's yeah. done isn't it yeah anyway yeah. my rod went like that then thingy's rod went then bloody no ringers, it, 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 tell ringers, him pork is now 15 pegs down <laughs> rod <laughs> like that oh an absolute liar <laughs>
<laughs> anyway, he didn't let me know. And um, I just, I thought, oh, I might. And then I thought, no, no, calm down, Dave. You know, he's supposed to be a friend. So I just let <laughs> Bail, put, put let Bail arm out, you know, and let him land it. <laughs> Um, and he landed it with a good car, weren't it? Yeah, it was a good, uh, it was a chunky unit, wasn't yeah. it? it wait, 11, 12 pounds, weren't yeah, it? Yeah, something like that. It yeah. was a big one. It was nice. And I thought you'd just sneak the section. Well, I were hoping that you, yeah. it, deep down inside, I know, I thought, oh, I hope Alan's one section. But, I knew it were close. But he, he Alex in, just nicked, he? nicked it. He sneaked in a ghosty on whistle, I think, about <sighs> three or four pounds, and he's done you any with that. When I landed it and put it in there, I thought, Oh, this is close now. Yeah. But uh, Phil did the business, didn't he? Did 50 odd pound on it. Yeah, and right. Waco qualified and didn't Waco. He, across, We but... mentioned it in both his videos, yeah. didn't we? Um, you probably, probably were going to beat him off there. We all that room, it was ridiculous, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. But we had a good laugh, didn't we? And yeah. he made up for it. it, it he's, tight, he's tight as a bloody duck's ass, is Alan, giving out <laughs> away. But it wasn't did... to give him. My son is I've med <laughs> <laughs> for myself. You got two of them that were like this. Yeah, they were all big they were belters, weren't they? They were massive. I've never had sinus big. I know I'm fat, but I've never had sinus that big in my life. Anyway, he gave me one, he cheered me up after that. It was lovely, wasn't it? Um, but yeah, he were close to winning the section, and I and I just had a write off, <laughs> and and I and I were absolutely fuming on way home. Oh, because was brilliant. I loved it. If I, if my rod wouldn't have broke, I knew I knew that I'd have probably, you know, you won't. I would have done. You won't. I would. You won't. I would. No. Um, double but knot, knot, infinity knots. It doesn't matter now because. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, but no, but. Yeah. Yeah. Go on, David. Let me say it. Go on. So David goes to Lindome Lakes for another goldenrod qualifier. And I rang him because I'm thinking, I wonder where my old mate's drawn here. 40 on laurels. Yeah. I went. And what? he didn't sound right happy. I went, Dave, you've got a right yeah, chance. Yeah, you said, didn't you? Yeah. He said, oh. So that peg has been consistent in summer and winter in our club matches. Now, I, I, really, I think really. we might have to put this on, Alan, because yeah. it's uh, a bit dark. And I really, fan I really fancied you for... Uh... The put engine on. That's it. Wow. Now. I did say I really fancy it for uh Oops oh, there is it. Come on Dave <laughs> It's alright, I don't know why I even moved it. Do you want me to put my jacket on? Right, that'll do, that'll, that'll do, do, that'll do. Yeah, yeah that'll do, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so I did say to you, I went, Dave, I fancy your chances there. I, yeah. I, I fancied you getting a few fish dinner. Um, and you've kept it a simple day, haven't you, out there? Started, Tommy Pickering told you to put your maggots away, didn't he? Yeah, well, <laughs> I, I went to the shop and I thought, well, I remember about two years ago that Dale... Shepherd. Dale Shepherd qualified on 39 <laughs> or 41 or somewhere around there. And he was fishing a maggot feeder, and I thought, like, just sticked uh, in my mind. And I thought, oh, I might just set up a maggot feeder. Anyway, I walk into the shop. I got these maggots. I'm walking back, and there's, there's Alex uh, talking to Tommy. I said, you all right, Tommy? How's it going now? And we had a nice little chat and what have you. He said, where are you drawing? I said, oh, peg foot. He said, oh, God, that's where you want to be. He said, if I could, if I could go on any peg today, he says, it would be 40 on laurels, and my peg four on, on uh, Benny's. Benny's. <coughs> I says, oh, all right. I says, what, what's crack then on there he says ah oh, he says don't mess about he says them maggots there you bought he says chuck them in bin <laughs> he says just fish Good a, old Tommy. he says just fish a method he says chuck around and he says you'll you'll see the fish you'll find them and i was like all oh, right fair enough so i get a be peg and i think he thought i were on 40 because he says you've got a massive island in front he says about 30 yards out and that's on 41. On 40, you've got this little island to the left of you. Yeah. That's and then right. you've got open water. Open water, yeah. I know which it was. So I think he'd got them mixed up. But anyway, Alex come walking round. And anyway, Massa had turned up. Ryan Lingard had turned up in that corner. So they were chucking out of that corner towards me. And I'm thinking, oh, God, this is going to be an absolute disaster, this. Yeah. But anyway jeff weiser and come round and we're chatting to him he says haven't you set this up? haven't you set corn up haven't you set this up haven't you set? and i were like 
I said, no. I said, if I'm going to win it, I'm going to win it on this, aren't I? I said, I've already had a chat with Tommy, and he says, forget that, just fish method feeder with pellets. Yeah, and he's in good form, is Tommy there? Yeah, well, he knew he's been there all yeah. winter, hasn't he, on yeah. this bomb and feeder he's thing, so he all knows. Form. Yeah. So, I'd, anyway, you've still got to catch him, haven't you? So I chucked out, um, I, and uh, 20, about 20 metres, 25 metres, uh, and I caught a few, caught a couple of skimmers early on, and then I moved around, caught a big carp, caught a few F1s, and then I've just moved round the peg, sort of like in a circle area. Then I've underarmed it to the corner of the island in a big, like so like I've gone round in a circle and just picked odd fish up, and then when it's gone really dead, I've underarmed to this island and had about six or seven F1s. And then in the, in the last hour, I've done my video, and I come on it at end, and I'm like, I'm absolutely gutted at the end because I think oh, that yeah, I've yeah. lost. I think that I've lost yeah, it again. Yeah, because you didn't have many last hour, did you? In the last <laughs> hour, I had one F1, and on the video you'll see I'm like talking to it, and people are asking me what you've got, and I'm like, I don't know, 45 pound. I said, you've done me, you've done me, and I'm proper like distraught again because I think that I've <laughs> oh, I've God. cocked it up, and I'm like, <laughs> well, we'll see what happens. <laughs> And I'm like, and I'm thinking, we're saying you've cocked that up again. That's your last chance. Anyway, uh, Ryan weighs in uh, 50, 55 pound. He weighs in. I thought, no, no, I've got no chance. Didn't you think you got that no, much? I thought I'd got uh, forty-seven to fifty pound. That's what I thought I'd got. And that Ryan says, no, he says, you've done me. He says, they're, they're way bigger than you think. And I was like, I, I were adamant. And I, and I, I thought, no, I've cocked it up. And he says, oh, he says, oh, Paul Wright's cut further down anyway. He says, so we both had it. Anyway, Aaron comes up. I says, what's Paul Wright? He said, oh, 47. I said, all right. Hmm. Didn't you think you'd got a few no, more? No, I didn't think. Alan, I'm telling you now. Because you always pulled wool over my eyes. No, I thought. <laughs> seriously, I I rang you though, didn't I? I said, what do you think you've got? And you went, I don't know. Yeah. You didn't know, did you? No. Anyway, I've weighed in £64. Uh, chuffed to bits. And... Um, through to the final. Won the match. Through to the final. Yeah. So. Did it in style, kid, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> but, I was chuffed for him at all. Yeah, he, were, he rang me up. He says he, he serenaded me on the bloody call. He went, "Today's my." Oh, and I'm yeah. like, "Oh God, Alan." Today, God. David Wood, you are Lindome Lakes yeah. Golden Rods qualifiers. My, yeah. he's fisherman. He's a nutter, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> he's saying to me on the phone, "I'm like cringing." So what we got? Hold on. But I tell you, I've got some tomatoes in here. Yeah, Alan, you've been in that bag of. Oh, what's it? All these tomatoes have turned into what are they? Triple treat snicker. Oh, that'll do. Fruit, one of them. nut, and chocolate. God, I've never had one of them before. No, I haven't. I saw them. It says here, oh, yeah, over seventy-five yeah. percent fruit and nut. Is that high I, in fibre? I don't like fruit and nut. No, in Alan, though, he's that type. Probably bought them all for his son. No, so, no. but golden rod this year, I've had. We've had, I've had a decent run in it and picked loads of loads of money up on there. You picked some money, aren't you? You come second no. at. Oh, at Barston I did, You'll yeah. Come second at Barston. I didn't qualify though. No, but we've had a decent run, haven't we? Bloody yeah. hell, they're small, aren't there they? There you go. It's not all about size, Dave. Bloody hell, one bite and it's gone then. Oh, thank I shouldn't be horrible to you, Alan. Thank you, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> These are absolutely <laughs> wonderful. Well, uh, let's have a look, let's have a taste. These are like a morning snack, aren't they? Well, they will be for you. Oh, they're nice. Are they? Mmm. I'll tell you what. They're my favourite, them. Snickers Triple Treat. That is lovely, isn't it? It is. Mmm. See, I do look after you. One foot dash and one foot life now. And a monkey, and a, a monkey foot banana. <laughs> But yeah, we've had a good golden rod campaign. Well, I have anyway. Have you? You've got another ticket, Lindo, haven't you? So you've got to do the business. Mm. I've got Dave Burley a ticket as well. Mm. There you go. Then. Or at Laughing Lake. They were all giving him some right grief, weren't they? Yeah, yeah, they were. Yeah. And he yeah. thought, oh, forget this. They were all giving him some right stick. So I private messaged him. I went, somebody sent me a message. Do you want this ticket? I says, well, don't tell them. Just turn up. <laughs> Give them that. 
<laughs> they give him some right stick, don't oh, they? Yeah. So good luck, Dave. Um, yes, good luck, Dave. See you in the final. See Alan in the final. It's as a bit well. rude eating him on camera, isn't it? Yeah, I used to get loads of grief, you know, from but, people. But folks, I do apologise, but that, oh, yeah. it's a lovely, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, and I want to say thanks to everybody that's messaged me. I've had loads and loads of messages. The video will be up probably next week. Um, so by the time this one goes out, it's probably up. So if you do want to watch it, just head on over and have a look. And um, it'll probably be up for the members only now. Mm. So I've got a go. funny feeling. I'm going to draw that peg next Saturday. I hope you do. We'll watch I'm not going to buy it. I hope you do, Alan, because if you do chance there's a chance but i tell you what I'd, i prefer to draw laurels um than loco i think because you've got more of a chance there because mm. loco went fishing very well i think only 30 30 pounds pound, yeah. yeah but bennies were all right and you know how to fish bennies you, you're you're a master aren't you? you've drawn that peg two before aren't you but peg two I, peg two i find a bit difficult peg four it's different because you've got open water. Yeah, you've got massive open Peg water. Peg two, you, you, you're hemmed in. You can't but, go anywhere. But yeah, fantastic golden rod campaign this year for me. Mm. Qualified again. I qualified a couple of years ago um, for the final. Qualified again this time, so uh, great start to the season for me. We just hope Alan gets in now at Lindholm. It'd be ace. Be um, ace. He'd be disappointed. <laughs> yeah, well, I probably would be disappointed. I thought, hey, well I've got away from him. I've got yeah, yeah. away from him. And then, oh no, he's bloody. <laughs> he's got again. through. Uh, no, no, yeah. If Alan qualifies, it'd be, be great. And we're good Oh, we'd have a right laugh, wouldn't we? We're, yeah. We're just we're brilliant. Kinder's um, down there and Jason Jago, innit? Is it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Jago. Jay's yeah. got through. He qualified on NPEG at uh, Allcroft, didn't he? Oh, yeah, he did. Uh, so yeah, good luck, lads. You'll, Jason. Thanks, Alan. See you down there. Yeah. Right, so uh, I think that's about it, Alan, isn't it? It's absolutely pitch black now. We've yeah, had to put that up. Nice yeah. little bit of a van chat for you. Yeah. Uh, we'll be a little bit more prepared next time. Yeah. And we'll have a guest, I'm sure we will. We'll have to get somewhere prepared next time. And we've got tons coming up, haven't we? Yeah. Well, we've got the UK champs coming up, haven't we? Start it year, isn't it? Yeah, UK champs coming up. I tell you what, though, it's going to be cold again, isn't it, this week? Minus one and two and all that sort of stuff so mm. everywhere's gonna be fishing rock hard still trying to get to the carper qualifier i have entered that again this year so i've got to try and qualify there and then there's uk champs there's feeder masters there's maver match this is there's golden reels there's fisher mania i can't wait there's tons and tons in there can't wait for this year mm. i was looking at uk champs today and i thought do you know what you fancy in the top on. we need to get in that top 10 yeah though. yeah i'll tell you what though I'm, I'm always flicking through facebook dave jamie hughes and bagger mm. they just they're just winning everything out there mm. unbelievable them lads silver fishing isn't it what did jamie hughes have about 48 pound the silvers at uh what it medlands which one won it that is it what it the um, what do they call that new one that's out now? Uh, we won 10,000 quid, didn't he? Um, oh, I forgot what they call it. <laughs> I forgot what they call him. Oh. Is it the Winter Classic or something? No, it's the other one, isn't it? Um, is it on the flyer? Yeah, on the flyer. It's my, my mate, isn't it? That Gary um, Rogers. Yeah, that's it, yeah. I'm sure it's that one that he's won, but... But it's something to do with catch more in it and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. But on, on a flyer classic or something, where I weren't it? Ten grand. Yeah. But you can't do them all, can you? We do that. We do the feeder masters. Then we do. Um, no, not there, Dave. Golden rod. You know, we do we do um, we do loads up our end, don't we? So we can't. Yeah. Just, and then you've got that. I, I won't be able to bloody do well. No. Because we work as well, don't we? So it, it is difficult. Yeah. You've got to pick. You've got to pick your matches, but. I'm looking forward to this year. We we booked on quite a few. We've got some tickets, haven't we? Feeder Masters, match this. We've got as Fishermania ones, what we wanted. And Kai got about seven or eight Fishermania ones. Have you? Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to give it a good go. That's what we're here to do, aren't we? Yeah. I've only got two tickets for Fishermania. So. So, but I'm, I I want to get to that Feeder Masters final, mate. 
Get down to take. Well, do you think they'll hold the final at Tame out again? I don't know. I don't know. I had a little whisper that it was a bit 50 50. I don't know. Oh, I'm not heard of. Mm. Not heard of files, eh? Yeah. Right, that's well, it. Well, that's it then, folks. Thank you very much for watching it. Get your questions in for next time. We will read them out. We always do. And uh, thank you for watching these. It's been a pleasure. As always. Yes. Um, I'm going to go home. I'm having chicken Kiev for tea, mashed potatoes and peas. That's yeah. what I'm having for tea. What are you having? Um, I've got a choice between steak Ooh. and lasagna. Oh, both. Both. Nice. Yeah. So... I had steak last night, man. Did you? Nice. Mm -hmm. Rump that... steak, chips, peas, coleslaw. Yeah. I might... I might go for lasagna. I, I like my salads, me Dave. You don't. <laughs> he's, a, he's a twat, isn't he? He always has to end it on that. We're having a nice conversation about we've done his fishing. What are you having for tea? See you later. Thank, it. Thanks a lot, Alan. Toodaloo. <laughs> See you next. He offered me a Snickers, and then he just pulls it. But no wonder I like this for him, is there? <laughs> It's in that Tetley drink advert, anyway, orange is there with I'm off. just goes like that with oranges. Uh, <laughs> Does it with salad? I'm <laughs> off. Right, okay. so thanks for watching folks. Don't forget it is absolutely free to subscribe to our channels. If you click the notification bell, you get all our videos as we upload them. And the thumbs up, come on monkeys! Yay! Come on, Dave, get you. Come on. I'm off. <laughs> I've had enough room, he's an idiot. See you so, next time. Don't forget. Keep on bagging. And fish on. <laughs> you can't.